Hey guys, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game. Paper Mario, the thousand year door. Where last time, I left you guys on a little bit of a cliffhanger, actually. And now it's time for the moment of truth. Is there a boss fight behind this door? Was I right to cut yesterday's episode a little bit early? I think I was. Who are you? No one's disturbed me here in eons. Who dares defile this sacred place? Hey, isn't that Hooktail? We totally beat it before. What's it doing back? What? You destroyed my precious younger sister? I wondered why she hadn't written recently. Quake and fear, mortals. For I am Gloomtail. I will avenge my sister by taking your lives and then gnawing on your bones. Alright, this is Gloomtail. The middle... Middle sibling of the three dragon siblings. Gwahahaha, <laughs> my first fresh meat in ages. Allow me to take my time and toy with you a while. You might regret that. Can't flee, flee this fight. I don't think that. I don't remember there being any particular tricks to this one. I'm sure Goombella will tell us more when it's her turn. But I definitely know that there aren't nearly as many status effects that you have to worry about. Gloomtail is more of an upgraded version of Hooktail than he is a lower version of Bonetail. Goombella, tell us about him in more detail. That's Gloomtail. I think he's Hooktail's brother. I see the family resemblance. Max HP is 80, attack is 8, and defense is 2. He'll bite or stomp on you, and he may also breathe poison on you. Great. When his HP gets low, he may throw in some other attacks as well. Wouldn't surprise me. Especially watch out for his Mega Breath move. Cause the word is, it's gnarly. He also stores power for some attacks, so use Vivian to hide to avoid those. Alright, so yeah, poison is one thing, but I'm not too worried about poison. It takes 9, damp 9 HP over time, which is really, really easy to actually deal with just keeping her topped up as I need. All the status effects that Bonetail used were a lot more deadly because they immobilized you or they screwed up your commands or they lowered your attack power or they put you to sleep. Yeah, I'm more worried about that than poison. Uh, who would I bring out? Let's bring up Aubrey. It doesn't really matter if Bobby's poisoned. His breath damage is pretty high, but it's not any higher than Bonetail's was. So really, we're just facing kind of a powered up Bone or powered up uh, Hooktail with nerfed Bonetail stats. That doesn't make any sense. We're basically facing an HP nerfed Bonetail. That's a lot easier way to say what I wanted to say. And if you defend, of course, you will defend the status effect as well. So that's an easy way, if you get the timing down, to not get poisoned. But really, I mean, look at this. This is not a hard fight. Not for us at this stage. Bobbery's kind of hurting. I may actually... Yeah, let's go ahead and Sweet Feast. I can't remember if Sweet Feast is also going to cure poison. I don't think it does. I thought there was something that... A special move that did remove status effects. I don't know. Maybe we'll find out at the end. Oh no, it does remove poison. Nice. Yeah. 
Gua ha ha! You're tough meat, my little tasty morsels. But how will you fare against this? Yeah, that does hurt. But I don't think you pull that one off too often, actually. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't be toying with me. Maybe you should be actually taking this fight a little seriously. Because, I mean, dude, your health is not doing too well. Okay, you are starting to pull that off more. I don't need the rock, thank you. Appreciate it. So now, I like, I was about to say, please stop spamming poison. They're like, okay, could you not spam that move either? Could you like mix it up a bit? Uh, it was a shroom, but it was the wrong time. Wrong kind. Bwah. You are not the easy prey you appear to be. I would never be able to show my face again if I was bested by you whelps. So I will show you the true extent of my power. Charged attack power is now boosted. That sounds bad for me. Y Vivian, come save my ass. Thank you, Vivian. Mega breath. Now that is the strongest breath attack in the game of all the dragons. Waha, do you understand my true power now? I don't know if it actually gives you status effects as well. I've never let myself be hit by it. Post text, tell me if Mega Breath has any status effects attached to it. I'm curious. That's the wrong one. Uh, if Mario gets lucky, I don't think he can actually defend, which means it pierces through to the next person behind him. But she didn't get poisoned, so that's okay. Alright, let's see which button I'm gonna fail at now. That one! It's because my eggs are reversed! I'm used to playing on the Switch, I swear! Mm, how can this be? At least you don't eat my audience to replenish your HP. I do appreciate that, and so do they. Alright, whatever it is, we win. God damn it. No, no, is it true? Can I expire? Yes, actually you can. Oh, ooh, this is actually a good time. Nice. So we get 44 star points for this. Very nice. That actually means we might get a level in the Palace of Shadow. Of course, he's got to spit something up. And if you didn't fight Bone Tail by this point, this is like your first... This is like the weird thing. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Uh, that they always spit up a chest or a person or something. But, I mean, we're not surprised because we've seen it twice. You got a star key, a strange star-shaped stone. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm making too big a deal out of it. But, now that we have that, we can head all the way back to that really neat room that I really liked. Remember that room that I said they needed to do more with? Well, we're about to actually go explore that nice tower in the middle. As soon as we get past these long hallways. These very long, very boring hallways. This place is architecturally cool. But they do have a lot of these hallways where they just put in 
one or two enemies. If I have one complaint about it, it's stuff like that. There are these hallways where they put in one or two enemies and they're mostly empty. There's not a whole lot going on other than just holding one direction for a while. I feel they could have done so much more. Alright, now we're here. Where would I put this? Let's go ahead and recharge. And take a look. Down here. We can come out this way a bit. There's a monument to stars here. I'm trying to remember the trick to this room. They look like they want to eat something. Bobbery, do you want to be aided? Oh, well. Looks like I found the trick. I don't know if you actually have to throw Bobbery in their mouths or just nearby, but let's see what's going on here. Boop. Ah. Good thing we have a boat. But what's on the other side? What happens if I blow that one up? Also, did I? I did hit that thing, right? Yeah. Everybody's full health again. Well, let's see. We can kind of get into a boat, but we don't have a place to be. You're not even close to being nearby. So maybe this other one gives us a landing platform? That would be my guess. Come on, get in. Also, how does Rogue Port, like, not collapse in on itself? With all this empty space underneath it. There we go, there is our landing platform. So now we can access this middle tower. Go boat mode! Isn't it nice how all the cursed boxes really just kind of helped us out in the end? They may have been like tormented by their suffering. Are you gonna get on this thing? There we go. They may have been tormented and a little bit twisted, but in the end they gave us the tools we needed to make sure that the work is done. And this tower is basically eight rooms of puzzles. Each room has a different puzzle, and uh, you kind of have to figure out what's going on. And you can see here, there's something in the middle. The unseen may yet be felt, be it here, be it there. And then the blue text, so that we the great ones. I think the blue text, I'm not sure what the reading order is, but the blue text tells the story between all the rooms. And there is a chest. What else is here? Anything? They're not going to be difficult difficult puzzles. Some of them, some of them are going to be a little bit mind-bending, but not too hard if you think about them and you read the clues right. You got a palace key, a key for a pedestal in the Palace of Shadow. That's pretty much the goal here. You need to collect all the keys from all the rooms. What about this one? All you see isn't all there to isn't all there be. Touch it to pass through it. Stones have power of stars. Ah. And it just comes from the shadows, which I think is actually a really cool animation. And of course, we get another palace key. So that's half of this down already. You guys might be thinking, well, you called these puzzles? These aren't puzzles. These are 
I don't know what they are, but they're not puzzles. Four stones, twin stones. Two are one, one is two. Master of Shadow and Dark. So, I, like I said, I don't know the reading order of the blue text. I've never tried to piece that together. I might do that in the comments, actually, for this video. I might piece it together and just pin it as a comment so that we can see the story as it might intend to be. But, as you see, there's nothing we can do with that room at the moment. We'll come back to that. What is this? Beyond, beyond, beyond. Complete all seven. Before, before. So. This is a puzzle that relates to the position of objects in the room. And when you come in from the store, the box that's beyond is this one, because it's the furthest in. One, two, three. It's also beyond the message. And this is before the message. One, two. And there you go. So that one actually takes a little bit of thought. I think that's a pretty cute puzzle. All right. So we've solved three of the ones down here. We have that fourth room, which the text says is linked to another room. So let's see what we have upstairs. We got four more doors. What are we solving here? Ah, uh, enemies! And that the skies lie. Let fall the weakest, then build to the strongest. So... We got four versions of dry bones in here. You have to remember which one was the weakest and which one is the strongest. So we want to start with the dull bones. So that's one down and we get a star point for it. We go to the red bones because we faced the dull bones and the red bones in Hooktail's castle. So the red bones is the next strongest. And then we want to fight the dry bones because remember, the Dark Bones is the strongest member of the family, so the Dry Bones is next. And jump again. And that leaves just one more. And this one's gonna take a while, because it is the strongest! Don't give me double poison, thank you. Um, why don't you try Lip Lock? There we go, full power Lip Lock! <laughs> yeah, that's what I would do if Flurry tried to kiss me too. I'm sorry, dude. I, I apologize. That was really rude, and um, yeah, I deserve that. So if you did this properly, and we should have, you get a switch. Let's recover some of our FP first. And of course, the switch leads to a chest. So that's another puzzle that requires a lot of thought, because, or at least a little thought, because you may not remember who the weakest two were. I mean, it's been a while since you faced Dull Bones and Red Bones. You may not remember where they stand on the tier of strength. You faced Dry Bones and Dark Bones more recently, so it's easier to remember them. Alright, so here we have the other room. Remember the room below this is linked. Four stones, twin stones. Two are one, one is two. Can live again by the stone. So, if we hadn't destroyed the, the uh, stone block down below, this would have been a metal block. Just like this is a metal block down below, and the one above it is a stone block. So we'll go ahead and destroy that. 
And now we can come up and destroy this. So that just leaves this block down below. So why don't we go down and finish that room? Because we'll be able to come up here and immediately finish this room. And let's see, I believe it was this one here in the corner? Yes, it was. So we go ahead and get that out of the way and hit the switch, get one of our keys. Very nice. Got a palace key. And now we'll go up and get the other key. All the way back up the stairs, but now we don't have to come back down here again. And let's see, I think it was this room over here. Yes, it was. And this is basically a free key if you did everything right. Man, that's the fewest possible trips you can do this in. And now we're done. So now we just need the last two keys. So many keys. Probably because they locked something that people didn't want unlocked. Straight on, straight ahead. We know the stars spurn us. Destroy all in your path. Alright. Well, down below, the, the wall was illusory. Here, it's not. But we've been told to destroy everything in our path. Bobbery? No? Hmm. Okay. Am I just not hitting the right place? There we go. It's about to say. Pretty simple puzzle, right? <laughs> It is if you actually hit the right place, which I feel like I did the first time, but apparently the game disagreed with me. Alright, good. I'm not making a fool of myself. And the final puzzle. Well, not more than usual. The shy one hides his shape. The shy one hides his face. But the stars bring balance. Hmm. The shy one hides his shape in his face, huh? Well... Now he doesn't. And there is our final key. Somehow, I don't- I'm not sure how. I jumped past the box while opening it. I didn't know that was possible. With all eight keys, though, we can head to the very top floor. Mario, look at that. What is it? Some sort of diorama, but I think I saw eight stars or eight things orbiting it, didn't I? I'm gonna go ahead and bring out Goombella though. Put in the star key. So even if you had come here and solved all the puzzles, you couldn't do anything without going and fighting Gloomtail first. But no, we can't. How could there be such a huge tower underground and why was it built? There seem to be a lot of rooms here, and everyone contains a riddle. Yeah, I hit the wrong button there. Palace key. Palace key. We just gotta go around and plug all these in now. All of them seem to be facing the center dais when we turn them. Oh no, they just turn around. Okay. Well, so much for being interesting. 
and putting the focus point at the center of the room. Game designers. Just make them all do 180. That way you can copy and paste it, I guess. And there we go. Hey, I know it's a silly thing to whine about, but I had to do something to fill this time. Wow, it's moving. Oh. And of course something has to happen outside. Huh? What? So those super long hallways that were mostly empty? Well, at least one of them has become stairs. So that's an excuse for one of them. <laughs> so now we can get down deeper. What was that? Well, let's go down and find out. We'll stumble my way down the stairs because that was kind of a weird animation. I wasn't sure that Mario was actually walking down the stairs. It was kind of strange. I'm glad that the front door is a different door than anything else. Uh. Yeah, sorry. I kind of sped through that because I didn't want to read it. I didn't mean to hit that button. Feel free to pause it if you want to see what she said. But I didn't intend to bring up that text. All she's really saying is, you know, we need to get past the chain chomps and not just the ones that are moving, you know, referring to the statues that we already blew up. But I think we're going to go ahead and call it an episode here. So next time, we head even further down into the Palace of Shadows. I think we're actually reaching the end, though. So maybe I'm right if I am. Cool, if I'm not, well, it can't. It's really not that much further anyway. Either way, I'll see you next time. Thanks for coming out and joining me today. As always, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed what you saw, let me know. Give me your likes. Leave me your comments. Remember to subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.